We're going to be looking at transition words and phrases. Let's start by looking at their meaning and their uses. Let's find out what are they and how are they used. So first of all, what are transitions? Transitions are words that show the relationship between two sentences. In other words, that is, a transition shows how the second sentence is related to the first sentence. Uh, for this reason, transitions usually come between two separate sentences. Okay, so they usually come here. They don't combine sentences. Okay, they usually come between separate sentences. So let's look at an example here. Um, every sentence one, everyone owns a cell phone these days. Transition, consequently, sentence two, people don't use pay phones. Okay, um, so we here are two separate sentences. Consequently, here is showing the relationship between two sen these two sentences, and it shows um, because consequently is a transition of cause and effect. In other words, it shows that the first sentence is the cause, and the second sentence is the effect. Or we can basically say that consequently is introducing the effect of the first sentence. Okay. Uh, moving forward, there are different types of transitions. Some transition words are, for example, for example, which we use to give an example, to introduce an example. So, the dog eats weird things, period. For example, it ate a pencil yesterday. We can see that the second sentence is an example of the first sentence. Okay, moving on. Consequently, we use that for cause and effect relationships. We just saw that. The cows ate all the grass. Consequently, the rabbit had nowhere to hide. Here we can see that the second sentence is an effect of the first sentence. Okay, then we have furthermore, this is used to add information. Okay, so for example, the cows ate all the grass. Furthermore, they ate the bushes too. We can see that the second sentence adds information to the first sentence. And then we have however, this is for contrasting relationships. Okay, for example, the cows ate all the plants. However, they did not eat the bushes. So that's a contrasting relationship. It's showing, um, you know, um, a contrast to our expectations. Moving forward, there are different types of um, transitions. Here's a nice uh, table for you. Uh, there's time sequence transitions. This is like if you tell a story and you want to main, you know, um, sequence out the actions. You would say first of all, second, third, later, meanwhile. There's logical sequence. This is when you want to show the logic, logical steps um, and divide those logical steps. So first of all, furthermore, also in addition. If you want to add a similar idea, similarly, likewise, in addition, moreover. If you want to add an opposing, opposite idea, however, in contrast, on the other hand, if you want to introduce an example, for example, for instance, introduce an effect, as we've seen already, therefore, as a result, thus, and introduce a conclusion, all in all, in brief, in conclusion, to summarize. Okay, let's move on now and let's look at the form of transition words and phrases. We're going to study the form now. So, very important, we talked a little bit about this already, but the transition comes between two separate sentences. It does not, let me say this again, it does not combine the sentences, okay? So what are some acceptable punctuation? You can have a period, okay, or you can have a semicolon, okay, come before the transition. So for example, peri uh, if I use a period, okay, everyone owns a cell phone, period, transition, consequently, capitalize, comma, sentence two, people don't use pay phones, okay, so we have a period, a capital, and a comma after the transition, okay, period before the transition, capitalizing after, after period. Moving forward now, we can add a semicolon as mentioned above, sentence one, everyone owns a cell phone, semicolon, transition, consequently, no, ca don't capitalize after a semicolon, and don't forget the comma, and sentence two, people don't use payphones anymore. Okay, so if I have, if I use a period, I would use it before the transition. I would capitalize this transition if I use a period and I need to add a comma after the transition. If I use a semicolon before the transition, I don't capitalize the transition and I still need the comma. Moving forward now, let's talk about location. A transition can come at the beginning, middle, or end of the second sentence. Let's look at some examples. At the beginning, Everyone owns a cell phone. Okay, sentence two. Consequently, people don't use payphones anymore. Okay, don't forget the comma. Okay, and then hit to the beginning. We can also put the transition in the middle of the second sentence. For example, okay, capitalize at the beginning, right? Okay, um, everyone owns a cell phone. 
these days, okay, sentence two, people, comma, consequently, comma, don't use payphones anymore. And here you can see that consequently comes in the middle of the, um, of the sentence, okay, right after the subject usually. And make sure that there's commas on both sides of this um, when you put it in the middle. And we can also put it at the end, okay? Also, don't capitalize if, it's, um, if it doesn't start the sentence. Okay, don't capitalize the transition if it doesn't start the sentence. Moving on, we can put transitions at the end of a sentence. So, for example, everyone owns a cell phone these days. Okay, sentence two, people don't use pay phones anymore, consequently. And again, we want to add that comma. Here we put the comma before the transition and we don't capitalize. Okay, so um, take about 10 seconds, read these sentences. Okay, they all have the same idea but they're incorrect, okay? Find which sentence is incorrect, okay? I'll give you 10 seconds to find it. Okay, the incorrect sentence is the third one, okay? Uh, the reason why it's incorrect is because all the other sentences have a period or a semicolon Okay, be between both sentences. But here I don't. Here I have a comma. This is actually called a comma splice. Um, this mistake here is because the writer assumed that consequently can combine the sentences. But remember, transitions don't combine sentences. Okay, so moving forward, a uh, quick summary of the transition words and phrases, everything we learned. Uh, we use transitions to show the relationship between two separate sentences. For example, everyone owns a cell phone. Consequently, nobody uses payphones anymore. Here we have a cause and effect relationship. Okay, regarding the form, the punctuation. Okay, we can have a period. We can use a period uh, between uh, to come before the transition because we're not combining sentences. We can use a period. So, for example, the dog ate. Okay, period, and as a result, it was full. Okay. Um, we can also use a semicolon, as mentioned before, okay? The dog ate, semicolon, as a result, comma, it is full, okay? Um, and don't forget, don't remember to put commas after the transitions. Okay, um, this concludes my presentation. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any thoughts, questions, or concerns, uh, please email me, and I look forward to seeing you in class.